Morning people of the grid. It is Wednesday, October the 4th. I am heading over to Edmonton today. I just had to pit stop and get a little part for our kayak. I'm gonna pick that up and then I'll be on my way. Just topping up before I take off for Edmonton. I've gotta go pick up a colleague on the way as well. I just saw a Model X. Looks like somebody ran out of juice and they needed a little help to get to the supercharger. That's harsh. So I uh, met a new friend out there, new Tesla owner, and uh, he had flown out of town, left the Tesla at the airport with a low state of range, 60 kilometers or 50 kilometers. While he was away, it drained itself down to pretty much nothing. So. So what he had to do was get it towed over here. He had smart conditioning on, which means in the morning and at the end of the day, most likely, it was turning its heat on to warm itself up. And then we had the cold weather and he ended up getting towed. So, yep, filled him in, turned off smart preconditioning. He's good. Nice to meet you, Aki. Catch you later. All right, I got enough of a charge. I gotta go pick up my uh, colleague and then I'm gonna make my way to Edmonton. By the way, for those of you newer-ish Tesla owners, um, some power save settings that you may want to keep in mind. All right, so you go into controls, you go into settings, and you go into vehicle. Now, that smart preconditioning, you want that off, especially when you park at the airport or you park the car for a long amount of time, because what it'll do is it'll learn your profile in the morning and at the end of the day, and it'll just start heating your car to what you normally like it set to. That will use power if you're parked at the airport for any amount of time. Now the other one I don't use is cabin overheat protection. If it gets too warm, it'll cool the vehicle. Now that probably didn't happen. Uh, that probably didn't happen to Aki while he was at the airport because it was cold. Um, I don't know if it would, if it would, yeah, it wouldn't heat it if it got too cold, but. Uh, it would kick in if it got too hot. So I think the uh, smart preconditioning, and there's one other setting. It's under controls, and it's under displays, energy saving. Now I've turned mine off and I like to keep it off because that affects the app being able to connect to the car. Um, so I leave mine as always connected. Otherwise you won't be able to preheat your car when you fly back in. So that uh, that one probably doesn't use too much at the airport in colder weather. It could use, you know, a couple of kilometers a day. What will use energy is when it gets cold is the uh, battery management system will kick in uh, kind of a thermal defense mode to keep the battery at a nominal temperature. So if it does start to get cold, it will use power to keep the battery at a uh, you know reasonably warmish condition so that when you arrive to the car it's ready to go now what what you want to do is if you're going anywhere um, i would leave the car at least at 50 percent if i'm going away for a week or less uh, i would probably come to the airport with 75 percent if you can you'll lose some of that but you'll have enough to get home or or to a charger so yeah hope that helps Well, made it to the hotel. Didn't even have to stop in Red Deer for uh, a charge. Just uh, stopped for a quick meeting and then carried on to Edmonton after that, but no charge needed. All right, all checked in. I've got uh, some work to get done, emails to get done, and then I've got a dinner meeting, and then it's relaxing time. Yeah. It's nice up here. The roads were perfect. All that snow that happened on Monday, Sunday night, Monday, it's all gone. Heading down for a meeting before dinner, then a dinner meeting, then back here. We well, made it back to the hotel. I got the light runner here plugged in in the Sun Country charger and uh, he'll be ready to go in the morning with the 90% charge, which is pretty much all I need. I'll wake up, and when I get up, I uh, send it to 100 so that by the time I get to the car, it's almost there. Well, that's it for me, guys. I'm going to sign off tonight. It's uh, just about 10 o'clock. It's been a late night, and i got to get up really early. 
uh, for the first meeting because we got a bit of a drive to get there. So, hope you guys had a good uh, Wednesday. And yeah, if you have any questions on Tesla charging, let me know. Micah, out. <laughs>